All right, let's talk about someone who I was really interested in seeing how they would play this upcoming season as Derek Carr, you know, uh, obviously longtime Raiders quarterback, who I thought had one of his worst seasons last year and definitely took a step down from what we're used to seeing. So the Saints kind of trying to buy low, similar to how they did with Drew Brees, seeing how it could work out. Uh, and I think in some ways we've seen the benefit of Derek Carr. We certainly saw him make splash plays of like, oh yeah, that's the Derek Carr I remember. Like, in fact, this play right here, which is also an, oh yeah, that's the Michael Thomas I remember as he's going to make a good play as well. Uh, it's a zone coverage play actually, but it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside. Carr is going to take the snap. And one thing that I always like about Carr is he just gives his receivers a chance. And sometimes that goes poorly. And, you know, especially when he's had his tough receiving cores, which he has had, uh, it's certainly resulted in some tough games. And I think part of why, you know, there's that narrative early on in his career after the injury of, oh, he's washed up when really it was kind of just, you know, his receivers weren't very good, but he's going to give Michael Thomas a chance here. And as you see, he does fire one up and that's a beautiful throw and a great catch. I mean, really good stuff from both of those two guys. And these are the kind of things that, you know, I think Dalton was a solid game manager last year for the Saints. I really do. But these are the kind of above and beyond plays that you wouldn't see from Dalton that you, I guess you would see from Jameis Winston, but you also would see the negatives uh, there with Winston. Uh, for Carr, you know, it's nice to see someone who can do these kind of things. And that's definitely something that gets you excited. I also thought that while, you know, at the end of the day, the 16 point total, that's going to that's going to make people feel like, oh, wow, that's not very good. Like that's definitely going to, uh, you know, make people uh, feel like, well, then the quarterback must have had issues. And and he did. He had some issues, but it wasn't just Derek Carr. Like, a lot of times, stuff like this would happen where, you know, sometimes you got to tip your cap to the other team. It's zone coverage, and it's a pretty good concept to beat zone coverage, I think, where, you know, you have three receivers running three different layers down the field. One running deep, one kind of running, you know, deep eventually, but going to wait a little bit, and then finally, uh, underneath route. The idea is there's only two Tennessee Titans players in the area who can make that you know, can, who can cover. So therefore, the third guy could potentially get open. It's usually that second route that's the one that gets open. Watch how when this play begins, though. Carr is going to run to play action. He looks over, and the Titans are just over this. I mean, it's, it's you know, Titans cover well, and we saw that in this game. They were able to play good defense. So for Carr, he's like, all right, well, that's not working. Carr does what he can. Definitely does a good job of not making a bad play worse runs up actually turns it into a relatively positive play there with that rush but as a whole that play was just not going to go for a ton of yards so like that happened and you can't really blame Carr for it also this sack right here I mean I don't know how you blame him too much for this either it's a blindside sack and it happens so quickly into the play that he ends up fumbling the football okay yeah that's not good you want to hold on to the football it's always you know a bad idea to lose the football luckily he was able to recover so no harm no foul but again it's like how do you blame him too much for that that's just kind of a fluky play however this interception you have to blame him for I mean you just do this was a bad play uh this was I don't know what he was thinking here quite frankly and this is what drove me crazy about Carl last year it's like you would still see Derek Carr be Derek Carr make these good throws and then it just seemed like he lost his mind for a couple plays every game and unfortunately this is another example of that where it's zone coverage you have a receiver running over the middle on paper for sure look at it it's a good route on paper as you see Derek Carr takes the snap he is going to look over and clearly this is not a throw you should make I mean you know the linebacker is all over this for Carr a guy this is just it's not it, just don't throw it there. Like, it's, okay, that is covered. Carr was expecting the linebacker to not move, but even if he didn't, that's still probably, is, is, you know, a dangerous throw in general. That's just, that was a mistake by Carr. Uh, I don't know what he thought. Maybe he just, you know, again, sometimes we view this almost as like these are robots who, if a, you know, a window is open enough, they decide to make the throw. And if it's not, they don't decide to make a throw. Uh, you know, I've played enough Madden to know that sometimes I will just fire one, one is covered. And maybe Carr just had a, a Madden moment where he just threw it, you know, in a window that wasn't there. I don't know. Because uh, again, I thought for the most part, this is a pretty solid day from Carr. Like this play, these are such important plays. And, you know, this is kind of what I always have defended Derek Carr over the course of his career because he can hit on these plays. And I do think that kind of the difference between, you know, 
I think we all agree that Derek Carr isn't a tier one quarterback, right? He's not Mahomes. He's not Joe Burrow. Uh, but I think the difference between a tier two and a tier three quarterback, I would kind of define as, can you hit on these outside routes consistently? Can you do something else above just be a solid game manager? Solid game manager, that gets you tier three. But to get the tier two, you have to do something else. And for Carr, it's these routes, right? When this play began, it's going to be a really good route by uh, the, the receiver right here, where, I mean, you see how he's going to really get the uh, Titans corner to take a step in, which I don't think is the smartest plan there. But, you know, uh, still, it's obviously set up due to the good route running. And so because of that, you are in a in a good situation here if, if you're the uh, Saints. And by the way, that's uh, Rashid Shaid, who uh, had a really good game in this one, in fact. Uh, but, you know, OK, one on one matchup on the outside. What is Derek Carr going to do? Well, as you see, he makes his throw off balance, really, but it's still perfectly on the money. Was it open? Yeah, it was open, but it's still a perfectly accurate throw, and like I said, he was off balance. So being able to hit these throws consistently, it's not really something the Saints had last year, and that's definitely a big benefit for them, and it was kind of the difference in this football game, I thought. In fact, it definitely was the difference in this football game. And also going over here, because like, listen, there were some negative plays. This was not a perfect performance from Derek Carr. I think that's totally reasonable to say. But one of the things that, you know, another thing I've always defended Carr about is it does seem like in the big moments, he just finds a way. He is someone who, like, you do... I don't know how much everyone subscribes to this stuff, but if you are a believer in certain players get better in the big moments and certain players get worse in the big moments, he's certainly one of the players who gets better in the big moments. And this is a big moment. I mean, they're trying to run out the clock here and win the football game. It's a third down to have to get to the 39-yard line. So, like, if they don't get it here, they're punting it back. The Titans are only down a point. Carr is going to take a snap, take the snap. It's once again uh, Shahid that he's looking towards, and it's not necessarily wide open or anything. I mean, it's kind of a crazy how this ended up working out. But watch as Carr's throw is right on the money, and also, I mean, it ended up wide open. I mean, you know, it wasn't open when Carr threw it. Obviously, it became wide open. That's just the speed of Shahid. And also, I think that the Titans were just not expecting a deep route there. So good play call as well, and just good stuff from Derek Carr at the end of the day to be able to make this throw and win the Saints the football game. So as a whole, how do I evaluate Carr's performance? I thought it was good. I thought he looked like, for the most part, he looked like Derek Carr again. You know, mistake here or there. But as a whole, I, you know, I think on the podcast, that's a bit more negative on his performance. But obviously, you know, now that I have time to watch the whole All-22, get the full picture, I think I'm more positive with his performance now. And maybe I was letting the uh, lack of points uh, affect my opinion uh, immediately. But again, that's the podcast. You give your immediate thoughts. So yeah, I mean, as a whole, uh, this is, I think, an optimistic performance if you are a Saints fan. Something that I think, I think he, you know, uh, he looked very good. And the hope is that you have quality quarterback play because of this move that you made to add Derek Carr. And so far, it has worked well. Uh, you know, I'm in a weird position, right? Uh, I'm typically a Saints hater because I'm a Tampa Bay fan, but I've always been a huge Derek Carr fan. So, uh, so far through one week, I was interested in seeing how am I going to view Derek Carr. I'm still kind of rooting for him. I'm rooting against the Saints just because I want to see my team, uh, you know, potentially win a division. But uh, I'm rooting for Derek Carr. Uh, it, you know, he's he's fun to watch still for me. So, uh, unique scenario there. But yeah, what do you think of this performance? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.